Central. It's near my university. It's just a really safe place. It's got a great central location. It's very near Oxford Street, which is pretty nice for a girl. There are duty managers patrolling 24-7, both the buildings in GPS and in the other building in MTH. We've got Regent's Park, like, just around the corner. I feel like the students help each other out as well. Compared to most other halls and residences, this is very reasonably priced. I live in its extension, the Marit Rivlin Hall, and my room actually overlooks the famous Regent's Park. So I've been living in Ish for a year and a half. This is my second year here. I love my room. I actually feel like I'm coming home when I enter the building of Ish. I stay in a twin room, um, so I share with one girl. Um, my room is lovely. She's from Chicago. I'm sharing my room, and which is quite good actually. I have talked to my roommates who are from different cities. We share a kitchenette, laundry and restrooms and it feels like a home. Learn their culture, their food, their habits. It has everything that a student could ask for. We both have our own desks, our own beds of course. Uh, our own wardrobes, I would say the wardrobe is really spacious. Study table, cupboards and a huge storage space, sink, fridge a wardrobe, a bedside table, so I'm very happy with my room. I would say that London in itself is a multicultural city. London is a cosmopolitan city. It does not belong to anyone because it belongs to everyone. And that is the atmosphere here at ISH. Staying at the International Student House, it gives you a global experience because you get to meet people from all over the world coming from different cultures. We have students from more than 105 countries of the world, so you get to be friends with people from various backgrounds who aren't your age and people you wouldn't have met had it not been ISH. People all the way are friendly and helping and supportive. I feel Working part-time has benefited us as students greatly. It gives us an exposure to the working life, the different dynamics of dealing with different cultures in the workplace. I come here every single day in the morning and I always have a nice chat with the, bar, with the receptionist. At first I thought, oh the name somehow suggests it might be for international students only. But I was so wrong because I emailed and it's for absolutely everybody just welcomes. No matter your British, European, international, it's regardless of where you're from. So it's a very enriching experience. So the great thing about Ish is that it has a very busy schedule of events throughout the year. And they have events ranging from theme suppers uh, all the way to travel club trips. They run the Sunday cinemas, travel clubs and theatre clubs, which are highly subsidised for students, so which actually brings students from all of the world together. Um, the theme supper is interesting, especially since I'm an international student. So this is something new, like Halloween or Thanksgiving. These are things that we don't really celebrate in our country. This is right next to the Royal Academy of Music, so a group of us got together and thought that it would be um, a really good idea just to put some concerts on so we could show the people here what the sort of thing that we do. Ish also has a speaker series program and one event which I found particularly interesting uh, was one involving the acting ambassador of the Ukraine to the UK. One of the events in particular was the karaoke which is on every Thursday and lots of us used to go to that and we used to have a really good time. Uh, even on Christmas day when everything would close they make sure that students are taken care of so especially for international students who would have nowhere to go if they don't have friends or relatives in London they organize Christmas Day lunch um, and that actually teaches a lot about British culture and makes students feel at home. Well, there are a number of common facilities at ISH, such as the laundry room, which is quite functional. There's also the common room, which is a great place just to hang out with people. So there are a number of music practice rooms at ISH and they are great for students, especially uh, those from the Royal Academy. So the thing that I like the most about the ISH 
kitchen is at the very spacious, so you know, you, whenever you come down to cook, you meet a lot of people here who are already cooking and you, know, you, you share the food with them. And then you also have some kind of social space. I first heard about Ishbal uh, before I came to live here, and um, it's, it's just a really, really cool place to hang out actually, and the drinks are a lot cheaper than they would be in other places in London and the staff were really friendly in particular, so it's a place I kept coming back to. As an RA, my job is to first and foremost make students feel comfortable. We're like the binding pillars connecting students with the administration and everything. Ish offers quite a few really great leadership opportunities. Um, in February every year, they offer a Learn to Lead program, and it's in its 15th year now. I, I believe this program, Learn to Lead, is a very good opportunity for the students as they are being involved in certain activities which will further push their uh, careers. The student forum happens every two weeks at ish. Where there is no management person there and everybody opens up their issues. And it's an opportunity for students to voice concerns, um, opinions on how ish should be run, and the two senior RAs, the president and the vice president, then take that information and every month meet with the board of governors along with the dean of students and discuss the issues and hopefully affect positive change.